Hello everyone, my name is Adredden and today we are looking at the ultimate vehicle mod by Dust to Death. So he has added uh, 46 vehicles to the game and these are them. Now they range all the way from these awesome military vehicles which are only found in the different military POIs to various uh, emergency vehicles and working vehicles like taxis and trucks and then there's uh, better varieties of uh, vans and 4x4s, various sedans, muscle cars, which are back here, and supercars, which are over here. Alright, so if you want to grab this mod, head on over to Nexus Mods, and you can find it here. There are probably going to be a couple other places where it's going to be hosted, but this is where I grabbed my version from. As you can see, there's a little bit here just saying what it is, and it is a beta release, so it is, you know, early for the thing, there's still a couple things need to get done, like localization and um, probably a couple of little other things. So it's still a little bit of a work in progress, but it's it's really good so far. Dust has made it so that the vehicles are very heavily optimized, and so uh, as you can see, all those vehicles there that were there, those didn't affect my frame rate at all. It stays at about 60 the whole time. And that seems to be what everybody's computer seems to be doing. Like I said, there are 46 vehicles, 31 civilians, and all the other ones are military ones, which are, like I said, you know, those bases. So yeah, you have these common sedans, the different 4x4s, the vans, the sports cars, the supercars, which are quite fun, and the special vehicles, as well as the military cars, trucks, and the, the heavy, like, armored vehicles for the military. It was also done with a lot of help by Ragzi, Haida, Kane, and Guppy Kerr. He is hoping to add an update to do a Mad Max-ish version of a lot of the different cars, so that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, and to install it, all you do is go either to manual download or files, and you can just download it like this. It'll show up down over here once you're done in your downloads folder. And from what I do over here is I usually just, you know, open it up, take this mods folder here, navigate over to my Steam menu, and you can just drag and drop mods right into your 7 Days to Die game, and if you do not have a mods folder, it will create one for you. If you do, it'll just merge it with everything else you have in here. Now, once you run the game, you will get some awesome little things happening. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go and find a car. All right. So if you find a vehicle, say at a gas station that's just been abandoned, what you're going to need to do is have an impact wrench and some accessories. These can be got by finding the schematics first. So you find the schematics and then you can make the impact wrench and the wheel accessories. The impact wrench is also available in advanced engineering and is made from forged steel, mechanical parts, duct tape, scrap polymers, and springs. And the accessories are made by getting just the normal stuff that you would think the car needs to run. Battery, wheels, engine, gas can, and various mechanical parts. And so with the mechanical parts in your inventory, they do not have to be here, they can just be over wherever. You find your vehicle and then you left click on it and this will create a block that will then create a spawning of the actual vehicle entity. And there we go. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to find the spot to make it upgrade, but just walk around it a bit and click and it usually will do its thing. Now, I think I probably need to have gas. I usually, I've been testing this in God mode, so with God mode on, it doesn't seem to and yeah, it just drives. The sounds have been redone for the vehicles. Uh, I'm not saying that every vehicle has the like a unique sound, but m you'll notice the muscle cars and the supercars and some of the other vehicles have different sounds than the 4x4, for example. If we turn off God Mode... Well, it already had 100% gas. So, anyways, they probably need gas. We can just drive it around a little bit and you will see that there are vehicles all around the place that just sort of spawn. Lots of them look like they've been stripped out and yeah. Now the vehicles all react a little bit differently. This one will probably get stuck in certain spots off road. Um, there's some really good military vehicles for this. Uh, here's a good example of being stuck. 
probably though. Uh, this is a 4x4, four four, so we might climb out of that. Okay, that's good. The Porsche, on the other hand, really not good for this. We just grab the Porsche. Now, in the creative menu, you can see all the vehicles as well. Oops. Ultimate vehicle mod. Uh, you can grab like the Porsche and you'll find that it's quite bad uh, off-road. And this one is actually incredibly good off-road. So we'll drive around a little bit with this Porsche and then get stuck. I was getting the name wrong. <laughs> I'm not a major car person. Oh, it's out of fuel because we're we spawned it in and we weren't in God mode. So let's fuel it up. Take it for a go. Can you hear the sound is different? So that is nice. Uh, they do drift a little bit, but that is seven days to die for you. And so, yeah, they work quite well. <laughs> and, uh-oh, we have to maneuver around here, but if we were to go off-road or something with this here vehicle, we'll find that this one is a lot trickier to get out of places uh, as it's not really designed for this kind of thing. So I've gotten it pretty easily stuck on small little slopes. So you just have to take the vehicle's design into account. Like see right now it's kind of stuck. But if we were to spawn in this military vehicle you see that the wheels are a little bit more forward and this whole area here doesn't get blocked up as much this vehicle works really really well and so like you can climb much bigger slopes I didn't found it to be quite useful to run across country because it doesn't if the wheels hit certain things they'll just bounce over you know certain items uh, like ores Big rocks do generally get in your way, but if you, yeah, you can just sort of nick some of these bigger bigger things here, and it's not so bad with the wheels. That one might be a bit of a tricky just because of the way it was positioned on that hill, but yeah, you can have a little bit more of a forgiving vehicle if you have something like this thing here. Storage, uh, there seems to be a little bit of XML stuff that needs to be done there. But, like I said, beta release, so I'm sure they'll sort all that out. Yeah, this one vehicle works quite well off-road. Yeah, if you want, you can just download this mod from Nexus Mods and give it a whirl. It really adds a bunch of variety to the game, and it, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, I think, to play with this mod. So many vehicles. So yeah, uh, I don't know if things like sirens work. I think that would need a little bit of extra work um, on the controllers for them. Um, that's outside the scope of the XML modding that this kind of stuff has. So, and same with uh, things like guns. That's a possibility to add with various new like vehicle controllers, but I don't believe that is an option yet uh, and I don't know that Alpha 19 is going to have it they have postponed some of the vehicle mods for that so yeah anyway if this has gotten you interested in this mod go take a look and you know thank Dust and all the other contributing members that did all this hard work for you and if you like this video, hit that like button. If you are new to the channel and want to learn more about Seven Days to Die, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.